my dear students welcome back to our channel in this video i will be explaining the bsc first semester subject mathematics differential equations as prescribed by usmania university and other universities of telangana we will go through the important questions and answers one by one let's begin with a quick revision unit 1 first important short question is define separable differential equations with an example a separable differential equation is a type of first order differential equation in which the variables x and y can be separated on opposite sides of the equation it means the equation can be written in the form dy dx is equal to f x g y we can rearrange this as dy g y is equal to f x dx now both sides can be integrated separately that's why it's called separable example dy dx is equal to xy here we can separate the variables as 1 slash y dy is equal to x dx integrating both sides or easy tip to remember if you can move all y's with dy and all x's with dx then the equation is separable next important short question is to write the general form of a homogeneous differential equation a homogeneous differential equation is a first order equation in which every term has the same degree power of variables x and y the general form is dy dx is equal to f y x or it can also be written as m x y dx plus n x y dy is equal to 0 where both mand nare homogeneous functions of the same degree example dy dx is equal to x plus y x here f y x is equal to 1 plus y x which depends only on y x to solve we use the substitution y is equal to v x where v is equal to y x then dy dx is equal to v plus x dv dx this reduces the equation to 1 in v and x which is easier to solve easy tip to remember if after dividing by x n the equation depends only on y x it's homogeneous next important short question is 3 define a linear differential equation of first order a linear differential equation of first order is an equation that involves y and its first derivative dy dx but the powers of y and dy dx are only one it does not contain products or powers of y or dy dx the standard form is dy dx plus p x y is equal to q kiss smiley where p x and q x are functions of x only example dy dx plus 2y is equal to e x here p x is equal to 2 and q x is equal to e x to solve we use an integrating factor if is equal to e p x dx is equal to e to x multiplying the whole equation by the if makes it easy to integrate and find y easy tip to remember if the equation looks like dy dx plus p y is equal to q it's linear just like a straight line formula but with derivatives next important short question is for what is an integrating factor give one formula an integrating factor if is a special function that we multiply with a linear differential equation to make it exact easy to integrate it helps us to solve equations of the form dy dx plus p x y is equal to q kiss smiley the formula for the integrating factor is i dot f is equal to e p kiss smiley dx after finding the if multiply the whole equation by it and the left hand side becomes the derivative of 
i dot f times y. Then we can integrate both sides easily to get y. Example dy dx plus 2y is equal to e x. Here p x is equal to 2. So i dot f is equal to e to dx is equal to e to x. Multiply the whole equation by e to x it becomes exact and we can integrate directly. Easy tip to remember. Integrating factor acts like a magic multiplier. It makes the equation simple and solvable. Next important short question is. 5. Define change of variables with an example. Change of variables is a method used in differential equations to make a complicated equation simpler by introducing a new variable. It helps in converting a given equation into an easier or standard form like a homogeneous or linear equation. In this method, we replace one variable, say y, with a new variable, say v, using a substitution like y is equal to vx or x is equal to vy. After substitution, we also change dy dx accordingly and solve the new simpler equation. Example dy dx is equal to x plus y, x. Let y is equal to vx, then dy dx is equal to v plus x dv dx. Substitute these values in the equation. v plus x dv dx is equal to 1 plus v. Simplify x dv dx is equal to 1, which can be easily solved. Easy tip to remember. When an equation looks confusing with both x and y, change the view with a new variable it makes solving easy. Next unit i, first order and first degree differential equations. Long questions. First important long question is. Solve dy dx plus y tan x is equal to sin x. Solution. Step 1. Recognize the form. This is a first order linear day in standard form dy dx plus p x y is equal to q x with p x is equal to tan x q x is equal to sin x. Step 2. Find the integrating factor if. Works where cos x is not equal to 0. Step 3. Multiply whole equation by if. Left side is the derivative of y sec x because. Right side simplifies. Sin x sec x is equal to sin x cos x is equal to tan x. So we have d dx y sec x is equal to tan x. Step 4. Integrate both sides. Step 5. Solve for y. Multiply by cos x. Final answer. Quick memory tip. Find if is equal to e p. If it becomes sec x, the left becomes d dx, y sec kiss smiley integrate the right and unwind. Simple. Next important long question is. To solve dy dx plus y2 is equal to xy. Solution. Step 1. Recognize the type of equation. The given equation is. dy dx plus y is equal to xy. This is a Bernoulli differential equation because it has the form. Here, p, x, is equal to x, q, x, is equal to 1, n is equal to 2. We can rewrite it as, dy dx x y is equal to y2. Step 2, make substitution for Bernoulli equation. Let v is equal to, then, dv dx is equal to, Step 3. Substitute in the equation. Simplify using y is equal to. Multiply through by v2. Step 4. Solve the linear equation for v. This is now linear in v. dv dx plus 15 is equal to 1. Integrating factor if. Multiply both sides by if. Integrate. Step 5. Back substitute v is equal to 1 y. Final answer. Memory tip. For equations with y n, 
use Bernoulli substitution V is equal to Y, 1 dash N, converts to linear solve using IF easy to remember. Next important long question is, 3 solve X to plus Y to DX to XY DY is equal to 0 by change of variables. Solution Step 1. Recognize the type of equation. The given equation is, this is not directly homogeneous, but it can be simplified using a change of variables. Step 2. Choose substitution. A common substitution for equations of this type is, Step 3. Substitute y is equal to vx and dy into the equation. Step 4. Separate variables. Integrate both sides. Right hand side integral. Left hand side. Step 5. Back substitute v is equal to yx. Multiply by x. Final answer. Memory tip. Look for substitution y is equal to vx when equation is almost homogeneous. Separate variables after substitution integrate back substitute. Result often simplifies nicely in the form x2 y2 is equal to constant. Next important long question is. 4 solve 3x2 plus 2y dx plus 2x y2 dy is equal to 0. Solution. Step 1. Recognize the type of equation. The given equation is. This is not linear or separable directly, so we check if it is exact. Let m x y is equal to 3 x to plus 2 y coefficient of dx. Let n x y is equal to 2 x y 2 coefficient of dy. Check exactness m y is equal to 2, n x is equal to 2. Since m y is equal to n x, the equation is exact. Step 2. Solve the exact equation. For exact equations, f x is equal to mand f y is equal to n. Integrate megawatt dot r dot t x. Where y is a function of y only. Step 3. Determine y using f y is equal to n. Step 4. Write the solution. Final answer. Memory tip. For exact day, always check m y is equal to n x. Integrate m w dot r dot t x add function of y match with n solve for that function. Combine general solution f x y is equal to c. Next important long question is. 5. Find integrating factor and solve y plus 2x dx plus x plus 3y dy is equal to 0. Solution. Step 1. Check if the equation is exact. Given. Check exactness. my is equal to 1 and x is equal to 1. Actually, they are equal. But let's double check carefully. My is equal to 1, and x is equal to 1. They are equal, so the equation is already exact, but the problem asks for integrating factor, so we'll solve as if it's not exact, using an if. Step 2. Look for an integrating factor. For equations of the form m dx plus n dy is equal to 0, a common if is a function of x or y. Or similar formula. Here, n x m y is equal to 1 dash 1 is equal to 0. So the if is equal to 1, meaning the equation is already exact. Step 3. Solve the exact equation. For exact equation, f x is equal to m, f y is equal to n. Integrate m is equal to. Differentiate f w dot r dot t y. Step 4. Write the solution. Final answer. Memory tip. Always check exactness first. If not exact, try integrating factor. For exact equations, integrate megawatt dot r dot t x, add y, match with n to find y. Result f x y is equal to c.